welcome guys again in this new webinar um, provided by uh, me. <laughs> so um, actually today topic, as I told you, like it's not that a classical one. And um, basically I selected that topic for many reasons. Um, and, and um, you know, like sometimes in cybersecurity, um, it, it's great, you know, it's great when you want to talk about hacking, talking about, you know, uh, vulnerabilities, you know, talking about exploiting things, but also we have um, not to forget about the other technologies. As a cybersecurity expert, always you have to make yourself updated about what's going on, you know, and how to make things easy for you, you know, and how to exploit the other technology for you to make the things better for you and easier for you as well. So, um, and that's why we just gonna talk about Docker. Docker for pen testing and bug body hunting. Um, it's it's a different topic to be honest, you know. And um, the reason why I select the topic, because I got a lot of questions, and you know, many people ask, okay, um, we want to know what what is the tool that I can, um, you know, use in bug body hunting, or what is the tool that I can use for hacking, you know? And and yeah, I got that question too. People say, okay, so is it a must if I have to install a Kali or, or a Parrot in my laptop to start hacking, right? Is, is it like a mask? What if I don't have like that requirement? You know, we know right now that we have a distribution which is Kali from offensive security, which is amazing. But at the same time, you have to uh, buy a good computer for it. I mean, like, okay, 4 giga RAM, whatever. But people ask that always. Is the only way, is the only way to practice, you know, is by distributions, or we have another technologies that can help us to um, learning and practice through another uh, through another tools from another way specifically. Is it a must for me to install VMware or install VirtualBox and install an OS, an offensive security OS on it to start hacking? You know, and and. Um, I got that a lot, you know, questions about Kali and whatever. They ask always, is it the only way if I want to practice my skills to uh, install OS as offensive security one, you know? And the answer is no, of course. We have many ways, right? And Docker is one of them. And that's why I want to just talk about Docker today. It's a super interesting topic. I mean, it's going to be like great because we're going to talk about Docker as a concept. And we're gonna also talk about what is the relationship between Docker and cybersecurity, you know? So we can say like, it's gonna be so generalized and uh, we're gonna show you some tricks about Docker too, okay? So um, just, I want to know your feedbacks guys. So is everything clear right now about the webinar topic? Give me a sign if you don't mind. Okay, amazing, that's cool. Amazing, we're gonna just complete that. Great, thank you so much. I really need this kind of science, okay? <laughs> you know, like, um, you know, I always wanna just verify that my uh, voice is clear for you, um, that everything is just going perfect for you to complete the webinar, to get benefit of the webinar, okay? So that's why I always, um, you know, demand this kind of feedbacks. That's great, thank you so much, guys. So let's just complete. Um, okay, so we move on and, um, Okay, so here is our plan, right? So first of all, we're gonna talk about Docker. What is it, um, how we can use it, maybe the concept of Docker, what is it? Okay, this is my first time, right? I don't know something is called Docker. I want just to understand, you know, just I want to explain that, right? I don't know anything about Docker, so we're gonna talk about what is Docker. Okay, and after like, when we're gonna understand the concept of a Docker, Okay, and when we're gonna understand how that thing work, okay, we're gonna compare it to the VMs, okay, because there is something like mm, I can say not a relationship, but I can say like um, they work mm, similar but different concepts. You know, it's it's like you know we explain that you know what is different if I'm gonna work with a Docker, and what is the different you know between working with VMs Docker. This is so important to know. Um, and, and this is the core, you know, of, of like the, the concept of the Docker. What is the difference between the VMs, how the VMs provide the things for me and how the Docker doing it for me. You know, we're gonna understand that concept. And after we're gonna talk 
a little bit about the advantages of Docker for pen testing. I mean, okay, for cybersecurity in general, um, and um, you know how we can use it. You know what is make it. I can say useful, right? Because Docker essentially is a DevOps. It's a DevOps tool. Okay, it's DevOps framework basically. But I can I can tell that we can use it in cybersecurity too. Okay, so um, we gonna basically you know gonna understand the advantages and the relationship you know between Docker and pen testing and how we can use it. And absolutely, you know, if we're gonna talk about talking, 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 you know, we theoretical thing. It's gonna be boring, so that's why we're gonna practice. That's why we're gonna install the Docker and install some backbinding toolkit, and even the favorite part, which is Portainer. You know, we're gonna make the things easier because uh, I can say, okay, Docker is great, but it's based on command lines. Okay, you have to be kind of good in command lines. Also, there is a lot of syntax. That's why we want to make things easier, right? And this is what it comes in the last part of this webinar, which is partainer is the favorite one and you are not gonna regret it, okay? So um, a little bit about me. So um, it's not the first time I make webinar in this amazing platform. Um, I'm Mohammed Hamdi and I'm a cybersecurity engineer and privacy and risk management system administration professional. And um, also I'm a cybersecurity trainer. I'm providing some workshops about you know, cybersecurity and this kind of stuff. Also certified, you know, this kind of, um, you know, ethical hacking certifications. And yeah, I'm enjoying just sharing the knowledge with you guys here, okay? So is everything just clear till now, guys? Or do you have any questions before we're gonna start in the core of the webinar? Is everything going well? Amazing. Thank you, Kamara. That's cool. Okay, amazing. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you so much for that. Amazing one. Okay, I'm gonna be motivated for completing that. And uh, okay, so let's ask that a question. You know, what is the Docker? You know, why we need Docker? And basically, okay, this is the first time. What is D O? You know, Docker? Because because you know, some people sometimes when when you're gonna talk to them directly they're gonna be like oh i prefer to use docker you know i mean like i don't feel comfortable with the vms but they're gonna be like please docker explain that to me you know so it's it's like simply i can say like docker is um software framework okay for building and running and managing containers on servers on the cloud okay so i'm gonna explain this so i can say like here like the first sentence, there is even some words that you're gonna ask yourself about. What is container and what is the image? You know, those all the words that related to Docker. Okay, I can say like Docker is kind of of software framework. We install it in any Linux distribution or it can be installed in Windows. This is, this is like a very great point about it. So since we can install it on those kind of OS, we can download an image, okay? Now, guys, I want you to focus with me about um, the words that I'm using, okay? Because when we're gonna use the word Docker, we're gonna use a word of image, and we're gonna use another word, which is container, okay? So container is kind of like a software framework. We install it in an OS, okay? And even it can be installed on Mac OS, by the way, also. Um, it's so simple. You can download an image. An image, if we can compare it simply, I can see like it's kind of ISO file. You know, you know, guys, when, when you install VMware and you go to Ubuntu and you, you download the ISO image file, I can say it's the similar, you know? When, you, when you're gonna download the ISO file from Ubuntu, you're gonna just download it and you're gonna install it in the VMware. And then you're running your, your OS. Right, and this is how it works with Kali Linux. How you how you install your Kali Linux, right? You are going to um, the Kali point org. You're gonna install. Um, you're gonna download basically the image of Kali as a file, which which is basically uh, three point two gigabyte or something like this. And after you're gonna install it and you're gonna use it on the VMware. Okay, 